This is Dr. Saurabh Dixit, your surgery faculty at Allen. So today we have uh, a patient of ventral hernia and I thought before operating that patient, I should make a clinical video for you all. So what is a ventral hernia? It's a very simple thing that it is hernia arising from the ventral part of the abdominal wall. Now, when we talk about the ventral part of the abdominal wall, there are two, three things that we need to understand. Now, when we talk about this ventral wall, this is the entire ventral wall that we have. But this is again divided into the midline zone as well as the lateral zone. So hernia from ziphy up to the pubic symphysis, anywhere along this line will be known as midline hernias. But there has to be a lateral, you can say, uh, border for that. So the rectus muscle. So between the two rectus muscle and from ziphy to the pubic symphysis, the hernia that you have is known as a ventral hernia, midline category. Now lateral to this muscle so this is the lateral wall hernia now when we talk about these hernias how do we segregate remember european hernia society classification is very 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 important and it further classifies the midline hernias into m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 so from the ziphy from the ziphy to 3 cm before the ziphy, below the ziphy that is known as sub ziphoid or m1 from this 3 cm below the ziphy sternum up to 3 cm above the umbilicus this is known as m2 which is known as epigastric hernia remember epigastric hernia is also known as a scarless hernia then remember when we talk about this hernia that is something which is 3 cm above the umbilicus 3 cm below the umbilicus what is this this is known as a ventral hernia so ventral her, uh, um, that is the m3 that is umbilical hernia basically so 3 cm above 3 cm below the umbilicus now 3 cm below the umbilicus up to 3 cm above that is m4 that is inframbilical and then we have below the inframbilical up to the pubic symphysis we have suprapubic or m5 now let us see this right and left subcostal planes so below the subcostal plane up to 3 cm above the umbilicus and lateral to the rectus so just see this domain below the rect below the right subcostal 3 cm above the umbilicus and lateral to the rectus this is what is the area which is known as subcostal so this is l1 now above the umbilicus 3 cm 3 cm below the umbilicus and lateral to this rectus this area is known as a flank hernia that is l2 then we have the third one that is above the iliac crest lateral to this this is that is known as m l3 that is our iliac hernia yeah and then we have anterior axillary line lateral to this this portion we have l4 that is the lumbar hernia so this was a crisp review of the european hernia guidelines now this is what is a classical umbilical hernia and if you see this is an irreducible type so it is irreducible type and the content of this is probably an omentum so omental fat is there bowel is not there however you will auscultate you will examine and then when very important thing is that you will always look at the skin changes. So here if you see the skin has been what students the skin has been thinned out. So this patient is now prepared for this eye palm surgery. So I have planned intraperitoneal only mesh repair. So what is intraperitoneal only mesh repair? I will go for a palmar sexes. So here we go for a palmar sexes. I will make a left subcostal port and two ipsilateral ports. So I will show them in the surgery. So this is how we access and then via harmonics and via a special composite mesh and tackers I will be doing a primary repair along with that the mesh repair for this patient. So students we are very thankful to these patients who actually uh, devote themselves for you. These patients come up voluntarily. I always ask them that I want to make a video for the students for the doctors and they're very you can say overwhelmed with that proposal and one thing that we need to understand we need to respect our patients because today because of our patients we are here and we learn with these patients only. So hats off to everyone. Comment in the comment section what you liked and what more clinical videos you want. <laughs>